YouTube, what's going on, man? What a game we have just watched, man. What a game of football. Oh, my God. So exciting. So exciting. France kicking off with a goal from Kolo Moani. Yama responds. And then Daniomo with a goal and the game ends 2-1. What a flipping game of football we just watched. Listen, going into this game, my prediction was I had France winning. I was wrong. Let's start there. I was wrong. And uh, to be fair, the game was not far from what I expected. It was not as f it was not too far from what I expected. You know, I mean, at one point in the game, France were winning, and they look, you know, it looked like it was gonna be, you know, maybe it was gonna be a while before even Spain took the lead. If at all, we're gonna take the lead, but it, it happened so fast. It's actually crazy, and that goal from Yamal inspirational bro inspirational I thought I thought France I mean Spain's biggest chance of winning today was going to be long shots and go for midfield that wasn't quite the case I mean it kind of was a goal for midfield from out of the box it was going to be goals from out of the box I, th I thought that was always going to be their biggest chance of winning of winning this game but uh he did take a goal from out of the box just not from a midfielder I mean Daniomo did score and he's a midfielder so big ups Daniomo by the way so underrated has been so important for Spain in this tournament what is it three goals two assists incredible incredible player man such a talented player I would love him at Barca but the way we play we don't play with a camo we don't play with someone behind a striker so I don't know how well he's gonna work you know unless he's get he's, he's gonna be ready to play as a cm apart of that there's no other place i see him playing because he's better playing you know behind a striker like a calm center forward kind of position but that's besides the point what well, is an amazing player deserves a lot of credit for how important he's been for spain but um here's what i thought my my my, my thought process in this game was just going to be france was going to be deadly on the counter you know spain didn't have those defenders like the, the Le norman they didn't have Kavaha back there who has been helping them all tournament i didn't think kukurela was going to keep up you know and i thought you know defensively with Kante in the midfield and how good france are going back with saliba being solid Teo hernandez I just thought of our they were going to be really, really good. And to, in, to a certain degree, they were. And, you know, we saw Mbappe with a good assist to Colomuani. Finally, he played better without the max. I don't know if the max was the problem. And in general, it's still not a good game for Mbappe overall. But tactically, the game kind of went as I expected. Not just the result that I expected. Because who was expecting Yamal to come out with that, bro? I mean, everywhere you look is on social media now. It's Yamal. It's a picture of Yamal and Dani Omo. I mean, with Yamal when he was young with Messi. Dani Omo with Messi when he was young. Bro, it's just crazy. I, I, I don't even know what the hell is going on anymore, bro. It's just like these guys are the next Messi. It's like Messi touched them and blessed them. And they got some of that Messi talent. Oh, I don't even know how to put it, but... It's just incredible what Yamaha has done today, bro. That goal is so important. And if this kid works on his composure, you know, and it's finishing in general in the box, it's just going to be insane. If you can cut on your left and bang one like that and then know how to do it consistently and the dribbling speed and explosiveness that he, that he has at this age, he's only going to get better. It's just incredible. Definitely should win Young Player of the Year award and should win the Young Player of the Euros award as well. I mean, I made a video a couple of uh, months ago about is Yamal the next Messi for Barcelona and now everybody's talking about it people call me crazy listen I'm not saying it's easy to be on that level of Messi or he's on that level of Messi but with the talent that he has at this age he could definitely get there you feel me so I'm happy and I'm, I also think we're on the verge of getting Nico at Barca so him and Nico can help up, help us next season we're gonna get a DM maybe get a very good backup striker for Lewandowski and see how we go from there but uh, we're, we're gonna fix the squad we should be able to at least compete with Madrid because listen these Madrid players are not in the best of form yes doesn't mean they're bad players they're gonna definitely step up and show what they could do with Vinicius Jr. not having a good um, um, Copa America Rodrigo didn't do anything on Copa America you know Hendrik Felipe look really poor Mbappe had a poor tournament. You know, Chuemeni didn't do so good as well. You know, Kamavinga. Like, all in general, all these Madrid players haven't really had a good tournament. You know, apart of like Kava, but Neuro's not gonna lie. You know, apart of that, not, not really good. But hey, at least about France and, uh, and Spain. And to be fair, I think football won today. Yep, football won. I wanted Spain to win. I thought, you know, like I said, Mbappe on the counter, he was definitely going to show up. You know, Dembele, Kolo Mwani, all those guys are too fast. And I didn't think Spain was going to keep up. But them getting those goals out of nowhere like that and getting it so fast and getting back in the game and defending so well, even though Theo Hernandez missed a massive chance and so did Mbappe. It really helped them tonight go through. And uh, yeah, to be fair, I mean, France has been boring all tournament. They didn't consider a goal from open play until today. And they didn't score a goal from open play until today. So... 
all of those things happened today and they got knocked out on the night. Their first goal they considered from open play was literally a banger from Yamaha from out of the box. That's just incredible. And again, Rabio talking about, you know, Yamaha hasn't, hasn't really done much in the Euros. And if they want to go to the final or win the Euros, Yamaha needs to play better. Well, he got a front row seat to Yamaha scoring a banger. That was just crazy, man. I mean, come on, bro. It doesn't get any better than that. That was just insanity, man. And then after the game, Yamal telling, uh, you know, France or Rabio and those guys to talk now. Like, he's just like, what the hell, bro? This kid normally doesn't even talk at all. He's always quiet. And now he's telling, he's telling France to, to talk now. It's just insane, bro. Basically, humbling all of France is actually crazy, man. It's crazy. The kids step up big time today. And he's been the best young player in this tournament. I, maybe even the best player in this tournament. Just crazy, crazy from your mouth. And uh, yeah, you know, Spain plays very good football. You know, they deserve to be here. They deserve to win this tournament with the football that they played and how impressive they have been in general throughout this tournament and uh months before this tournament started i'm like i see spain winning it and then the closer i got i felt like germany was gonna win and then today i felt like you know the way this tournament has gone france was gonna you know go ahead and eliminate them but i've been wrong maybe i should have stuck with my prediction the first time of you know me believing in spain like months before the tournament started i just felt like this was gonna be a thing where the young players step up with rodri guarding them and cover at the back and then, you know morata up front getting them the goals i thought that's how it was gonna go and they were gonna go on and win it but uh yeah there we go they have they have been you know as i expected the first time they have been impressive but i didn't think they were gonna win today and i didn't think they were gonna get past germany so surely nobody stops them now surely they go on wherever they face whether it be in netherlands or england we might we might have a english or france you know kind of a kind of final you know the meme english or france we might actually have that as a fight sorry sorry spanish or english english or spanish you know the meme we might actually have that as a final which is actually crazy but yeah that would be actually crazy man that would be a crazy final i don't know but i think netherlands actually goes through instead of england but uh yeah can't wait for the final man insane insane for me i'm out i'm happy for our pedri didn't play uh you know i didn't see fermin lopez i think he's a really good player i would love to see him in you know at least come off the bench in this tournament but Yamaha man so happy for him. him and Nico Williams still balling in this tournament I'm so happy for them and uh yeah what a game we've just watched bro what a flipping game of football man oh my god bro football is in safe hands with some of these young guys that are coming up honestly because here's the thing like i really thought boring football was gonna win this we saw it with portugal we saw it with italy in the last couple of you know the last euros winners that's how this tournament normally they normally are i'm not saying well we saw that spain just dominate and win it you know the other the, the old spain we same with the world cup but boring football most of the time and just defensive and locking locking up shop is normally what wins you this tournament i'm glad that's not the case you know uh, it's still it's still not confirmed england can sneak their way and win this thing we all know how it goes down and we're gonna have the ballon d'Or conversation of bellingham people are, right now everyone is saying rodri which is actually crazy but that's a conversation for another day right now i'm just you know i was wrong i wanted spain to win i'm glad they did but i was wrong on my position on how the game was gonna go or how the, or on the final score and who was gonna go through but i'm happy spain went through and yeah such an entertaining game of football we just watched man i still think the germany game was better some people will say game of the tournament tournament because of that absolute wordy as well but you know after that i don't think you know there was i, I would have i thought we were gonna see like five goals in the in this game but after that there were no goals but there were chances so potentially game of the tournament to be fair but um yeah man what a game of football we just watched good luck to spain in the final i want them to win i think they are gonna win regardless of who they face france went home bappe was really disappointing in this tournament and um bappe really had a chance to go on and win the ballon d'Or in this tournament let me explain i felt like if mbappe went on and like score like let's say three or four goals in the group score like two goals against belgium and knock them out maybe bang like a goal you know against portugal and knock them out maybe today why they were why they were down after he gave that assist he banged like a hat trick and take france out of the uh spain out of the euros and then go out and go on to win it would have potentially talking about mbappe getting the ballon d'Or because everyone is talking about rodri now so they would have been definitely be talking about mbappe if he did all that and if he played well in this tournament because he went to the semi-final of the champions league he won the the league um, you know title in france he won the the, the uh the french cup he has the stats to back it up so if he went on and played well and won this thing he would have potentially won the ballon d'Or you know because the euros is a big part as well you know it, it was basically 
eventually going to come down to, hey, listen, these guys at Real Madrid won the Champions League, but I won the Euros. I have these stats over them, and I won my league as well, and I won a cup in my in my in my uh, in my country as well, and I have the stats. Why shouldn't I get it? And he, he plus Gisens Bayard, he was definitely going to get it. So I think Mbappe has been disappointing, and he's missed out on the Euro, on the on the Ballon d'Or massively by having a very bad tournament. He said it himself. He said. You know, he said he hasn't have a, had a good Euros. And, you know, the Euros was a disappointing one for him. And it's 100% right. But, you know, we'll be interested to see him at Madrid. I know he's going to show up and show out. He's going to give it his all. You know, I'm not going to be happy about it since, you know, it's Madrid and I'm a Barca fan. But I know he's going to be entertaining and show some mind-blowing football. However, a very disappointing Euros from him yet again. I mean, last one, last Euros, it wasn't, it was disappointing, to be fair. You know, because of the way it ended. He missed his penalty against Switzerland. Missed chances in that game as well. So, yeah, in, I guess Euros is really not from Mbappe. He always just, you know, doesn't show up or play very well. But in the World Cup, we all know what Mbappe does in the World Cup. But uh, yeah, man. Um, is there anything else to talk about? Don't I think that's about it. I think I pretty much covered it. And uh, yeah, big ups, Danny. Almost shout out, really underrated. Fabian Ruiz had a had a good tournament as well. And uh, big up from um, Spain, man. You know, whether it's Nico, whether it's the midfielder showing up, whether it's Yamal, people show up and help. The team has a sense of togetherness and they play together. It's not just one person that, sh that you know, is the best player every day and show up every day. So they're a team that is very connected and then they, they, they play very good football. Possession, good on the counter, half players that can change the game for sure. Very entertaining to watch. And uh, yeah, man, hey, Euros, we, we're going to watch England tomorrow. Let me know who you guys think is going to go through. And um, I'm proud of Spain, man. I'm so happy for Spain. Oh, my God. Finally, man, the team that actually deserves to go through goes through. We know that's not how football works all the time. But, hey, thank you guys for watching. And um, I will catch you guys another time. Matter of fact, tomorrow after the, the England-Netherlands game. Maybe Bellingham score another late winner. Who knows? But if the game does go to penalties, I guarantee you I think England wins. That's their only chance I think they win the game tomorrow. If not... I think 100% Netherlands, even though they are not that good as well. And I've had their shaky moment in this tournament. Gakpo will show up, Van Dijk, masterclass in defense. And I think Netherlands win. If not, England wins on pens. Again, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.